Welcome to the first video in our house design for Revit. We are going to create a simple house over a series of videos going through it step by step. First of all, we're opening up a new project. So as you look at the startup screen in Revit, we've got models and we're going to select new. And then we get to pick what template we wish to use. I am going to use an architectural template and it says create new project rather than a template. So that is what we want is a project. When it's loaded up, we now have our level zero view. The first thing we want to do is create the levels of our house. So what I'm going to do is to go to the project browser in the bottom left hand corner. If you do not have the project browser or the properties window visible, just go to the view tab at the top, then user interface on the far right hand side and tick the project browser and the properties and they will appear. And then I'm just going to go back to the architecture tab for now. So now I'm going to go to elevations down by here, press the little plus sign to bring them up and double click on any one of those elevations. We start here with the levels that we have existing. I want to create a level below ground for the foundations. I want a level for the ground floor of the house, the first floor of the house, and then the wall plate upon which the roof will sit. First of all, I'm going to think about the actual depths of my levels. I'm going to have a ground floor slab at level zero, which would mean the external ground would be 150 mil below that and then another 750 for the depth to the underside of the foundation with a sort of minimum depth. So therefore, I'm going to change the name of this one by just clicking once and then clicking again. And I'm going to call it minus one foundation. I always put a number at the start of these so that it sequences them in the correct order in the floor plans list in the project browser. When you've typed in the name, just press enter, then click on the actual dimension beneath that. So click once and minus 900, and then it's automatically repositioned it for us. Now, while we're by here, I'm just gonna change the scale of this drawing and you'll see the difference it makes to the size of the writing. So in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, we have one to 100. I'm going to make it one to 50. Because that's probably the scale I'm going to end up using most of the time for this house. And we can see how the program automatically resizes the writing for you to an appropriate size for the scale. Then I'm going to make this one zero and change it to zero ground floor, press enter. So there's our first two levels. And now I want to add a new level. So on the architecture tab, find the level command over on the far side, click it. We have this green bar here is our options bar. We've got make plan view ticked. That's good. That's what we want. We have um, different plan view types available. So we could just click on that and we've got ceiling plans, floor plans, structural plans. So I'm just going to click on the floor plan one and just have that one highlighted and say, no, I'll have the ceiling plan as well. There we go and click OK. Then we've got offset. I'm not going to use the offset command. I'm just going to position my cursor. Now we can see as I move the cursor, 
we have the blue numbers on the left hand side showing you how high you are above the next level down. So I want my first floor, so the actual floor level, to be 2,600 above the ground floor. So I've just moved the cursor up. Notice as well, that's how I've put the cursor in line with the ends of the lines from the foundation and ground floor levels. And we've got that blue dotted line to represent that. This will just make it look neater and tidier. So I now click the mouse. Then I, not holding the mouse button down, it's just a click, move the cursor across until I get it level with the other ends of those lines. And we get that blue dashed line again, click again. So I've now created my first floor plan. I will rename it in a second. And then I want to go up another 2.4 meters. And this one is going to be my wall plate level. OK, now I'm going to press escape to get out of that command. So I pressed escape twice then. Now I'm going to click on these and press again and put number two wall plate. Enter. Now I'm going to go to the next one and click on that level and then click on the writing and put number one first floor and enter. Now we have our levels are set and if we go to any of the other elevations we will see that those levels are already there for us but the scale is still at 1 to 100 so I am just going to change that to 1 to 50 on each of those elevations just to make it a bit more consistent. There we go. And that is our levels set up ready 